Perspective and context on our top story now as we bring in two senators to discuss the nuclear-armed Pakistan and a political crackdown. Despite prodding for the United States and other Western leaders, Pakistan's President Pervez Musharraf is not setting, letting up on his state of emergency. There is concern over the threat of Pakistan's nuclear arsenal and the possibility, at least, that it could fall into the hands of radical Islamic groups. Joining us now, we'll have a Republican with us in a moment. First, the Democrat, Robert Menendez. He's on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and good enough to join us today from Capitol Hill. Sir, has our message been strong enough and is anyone listening? I don't think it's been strong enough. And what needs to be said? Well, I think we have to clearly look, uh, as the chairman of the Foreign Relations Subcommittee that deals with all our foreign assistance, we've got to look at whether $10 billion that we've given Pakistan since September 11th uh, has been used in a way that ultimately meets our national interests and security goals. I mean, we have Osama bin Laden set up in the Pakistan-Afghanistan border. We have rising anti-Americanism. And we have Musharraf looking like he's using the resources we give him in the military context to sustain himself instead of fighting terrorism. I think those are legitimate questions. And he has to understand that if we're not moving in a direction in which uh, the rule of law, which we as America promote throughout the world, can be sustained, that whether or not we can continue to sustain his assistance is in question. Congressman Ron Paul was our guest a moment ago, and he said we should tell him, no more money for you, pal. Is that a message that you think we should send? Should we suspend? The president has not suggested that we will. Well, I haven't arrived at that conclusion yet. It is a possibility. Uh, you know, one of the things I want to do, we want to have some uh, soon, very soon, some hearings about whether or not uh, we should continue to send this money and how it's being used. I mean, the reality is, is that if you surround uh, the, the capital uh, in Pakistan with troops and security forces, you're obviously not pursuing terrorists. You're obviously not going after Osama bin Laden. Uh, it, when the Supreme Court of Pakistan and lawyers are a bigger threat than ultimately the terrorists, uh, the Islamic fundamentalists and the terrorists that derive from Islamic fundamentalism, I think we have to have a real question on our hands. Is this the right policy? Senator, I have just a few seconds left, Senator Menendez, but to what degree are you concerned that his suspension of the Constitution and trampling thereon, to hear it from his critics, is creating more Islamic fundamentalists in the, in the country and in the region? Well, one of the reasons we've been pushing you know, for greater openings, a uh, movement towards elections next year, is so that, in essence, we have the opportunity to have uh, different segments of Pakistani society participate and get the moderates in Pakistani society to have a voice and go to the center of governing in that country. For so long as Musharraf uses force to sustain himself, then ultimately it seems to me not only does it marginalize the moderates, it pushes them in a direction we don't don't want. I think that's dangerous to the United States. Senator Robert, Robert Menendez, live with us from Capitol Hill. Senator, good of you to be here. Thanks very much. Thank you.